வெல்கம் டு டாக்டர் காதர் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் screwed up all these three important aspects microbial balance glucose balance hormone balance so unless we set these three things right you are not going to be healthy very simple so what can aid us in making these three aspects fall in place so microbial gut populations have to increase means you have to eat fermented food what is fermentation any carbohydrate or fiber left will start harboring the microbes so you cook any grain that you want to and leave it with a muslin cloth or khadi you know cotton cloth handloom cotton cloth tie up to a mud pot make 1 is to 5 or 1 is to 6 water the grain to water ratio and soak them and why are we to soak our grains well unlike rice and wheat you put it in the cooker and then cook zoom in 2 minutes you get cooked because there is no fiber there but here in this grains the fiber is nicely encircled in spiral and associated with fiber of 50 to 70% of fiber is associated with 8 to 10 12% of this fiber which is interlinked so the central part of the grain has to get the water molecule so that the fiber releases itself and which becomes amenable for human enzymes to digest so that's how it takes time for the glucose to be released slowly and steadily even after the glucose is released into the blood the fiber which is soluble is also associated with the, the glucose molecules hence never and ever in the human blood when you eat millets these five wonderful millets glucose is high in concentration it is always in a balanced state that's how we have been reversing thousands and lakhs of diabetic patients in a matter of 3 to 6 months into normal hba1c that is from 12 13 14 even 10 to hba1c being 5 or 6 in a matter of 3 months to 6 months and this is the technical aspect the scientific aspect that we have cured lakhs of patients of diabetic uh, condition to become normal in a matter of 6 months when you replace your food from rice wheat milk sugar eggs based to millet based food and especially these five millets what about the next five millets actually i did a simple experiment called renal tolerance test we fed all these diabetic patients all the grains available the gruel 100 grams or 150 grams of the gruel one after the other so 10 patients were given foxtail millet 10 patients were given finger millet 10 patients were given um, the wheat gruel so when we collect their urine after one hour one and a half hours and check for glucose lo and behold you will find glucose in a rice wheat finger millet proso millet bajra that is pearl millet in a matter of one or two hours you will see glucose coming into the blood that means the body pushes the glucose into the blood and then the excess glucose the kidneys are pushing it into the urine this is called renal tolerance test very simple way so that all understand but when you feed these five grains kodo foxtail barnyard brown top and little it takes 5 to 6 hours that means the release of glucose is slow and steady so this is how i actually put a table of all these grains like mendeleev put arranged the uh, elements we have arranged the positive grains neutral grains and the negative grains and we can keep adding many of the other grains i have checked around 12 grains and made a list which i will uh, supply the booklet we have put that and not only the fiber to uh, carbohydrate ratio we have also got all kinds of nutritional values but i do not believe that nutrition happens by knowing oh this has this much this has this much this has this much see everything has to be in a package and our body has to be in a prime condition to receive thank you for watching 
If you like the video, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe our channel, Dr. Khadar Lifestyle. Press the below bell icon to get notifications.